Στην Ελλάδα, στην Νότια Αφρική, έτσι να τρέξει από αυτό είσαι μαζί μου. We're working on Crete to um, protect sea turtles in three locations. We're working here in Hania, um, in Rafimna, and also on the south of the island in Atala, in Sara. The sea turtle that we try to protect is the loggerhead sea turtle. This is the only turtle that nests in Greece. Um, the sea turtle is under threat from many different um, factors such as fishing and also pressures on the beach due to tourism. ARCON is a Greek organisation that's staffed from international volunteers from all over the world. It's a non-profit organisation and we rely on donations from tourists to keep our projects running. So you're not supported by the government then? With no support from the government. Um, the work that we do is um, mainly in the morning on the beaches of Hanya. We are looking for the turtle nests and when we find turtle nests, what we do is we place these cages over them. These cages are there to mark out the nest and to protect the nest from being driven over or from sunbeds or from other interference. Sometimes we will need to move a nest because it's in a dangerous position and if so then we will usually place it in a hatchery such as this. Otherwise we will just relocate it to a safe place on the beach. The main threats that turtles face on the beach are due to tourism and the biggest threat is probably sunbeds. There are thousands of sunbeds in Hanya and these sunbeds stop the turtle reaching the back of the beach where she likes to lay her nest. As you can see in this photo here, the turtle has crawled up the beach, bumped into these sunbeds and then returned to the sea. If this happens two or three times, she will abort her eggs at sea and they'll be wasted. Sunshades also cause problems on the beach because they cast shadows over the nest which keeps them cool so they don't incubate properly. Do protected areas exist on beaches or are they all free for tourists? Um, in Crete they are all free for tourists. So you have no space. There's no extra protection, there's no restricted areas. Um, in Zakynthos there's a national marine park which offers a little bit extra protection um, but there's no such place in Crete or in Palestine. So the main target would be at the end to have like just a piece of beach protect that, that would be the ideal um, but at the moment we're working doing the work that we can working with municipalities on the hotels and um, trying to get them to do simple things like stacking their sunbeds. The hotels stack their sunbeds at night the turtles can access the full, full beach without being disturbed. Do the locals listen to your concerns? Uh, the local people are usually very supportive and uh, the actual Cretan local people there are some problems with hotels. Some people, some hotels are very good and do uh, follow our instructions. Some don't. So it depends on the specific hotel. But on the whole, attitudes are changing and things are slowly getting better. <laughs>